Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Here we have a KTM 50 Mini Adventure doing some work, has low compression, so I took it all apart and come to find out it had a, a bad ring. Check this out. Kind of hard to tell, but this ring, it's wore more on this side. So look, it's a very thin and it's thick on this side. Makes me wonder what caused that. I've never seen this before. But I got me a new ring. So we'll be putting that on. Actually, I already put it on. There is no scars on the cylinder. Cylinder was perfect. What I did was, since these are plated cylinders, I went and grabbed me a, a red scotch bright, And I went in there and polished it all out, cleaned it out. Scuffed it up, actually, not polished. So far, I already put it back on. I just need to tighten these four bolts inside here. I put a brand new gasket. All this came out to like $18 with the whole set of gaskets and the rings. So I'm going ahead and put it all together and we'll see if she'll start up. We're gonna clean out the carburetor. We'll see if anything's wrong with that. Cause I don't know when was the last time it ran. Um, empty out the fuel tank, make sure there's good fuel in there. It had a, actually a brand new spark plug and it's like the good ones, so we'll see. Since we got all the engine put together, I'm gonna try to polish out this exhaust a little bit, clean it up. All right guys, here it is after it's been polished out a little bit. a little better so everything that I used to polish it was a drill with a little uh, it's a gray pad on there like a scotch bright and I use a razor to peel off uh, really thick uh, dirt also I use this uh, chrome polish that's something I just had so I just used it and uh, that's it all that I used to get those results and it took me about I'd say about 10 minutes. All right, guys. Hopefully you can do this too. All right, you guys. So we'll put everything together, put the seat, put the plastic gas tank, cleaned the gas tank out, hooked all the lines, fuel, made sure the pet cock is working good, cleaned everything up, Tighten all the bolts. So now let's take it off the table. We were having a leaky carb. Also, it's not starting really good. It's uh, having a little bogging issue and it will rev up and it'll die down. And when I took it all apart and inside the air box, <clears throat> there was a lot of fuel in the bottom of there. So I had to dump that out. So basically what I'm gonna do is take it all apart and uh, clean it all out put it back to factory settings and then we'll adjust it from there on so i already took off the needle and the slide right here so we'll clean that out too when we get ready to install the car back so let's go put this carb on the table and take it apart blow it out with compressed air and some brake cleaner clean it up take it completely apart and check it out what's going on all right stay tuned so, all right, I got my carb right here. Tools we'll need is a flathead screwdriver. We'll just about take everything off. Uh, flathead screws right here, flathead screws right here. And let's get inside and check what's inside.
Hey guys, so like you see all the parts, here's the little needle that holds this float. And that's the choke, that's the jets, adjustment screw, air screw, float, holder, the bowl. So here's the carburetor itself. And can't really tell if there's any dirt or anything. Maybe one, two, three dirts in there, but that'd be all right. But anyways, a little dirty on this side, but nothing dirty internally. So what we're gonna do is blow everything out and clean it out with some brake cleaner and make sure this, this thing is clean and then adjust it back to factory settings. And uh, we'll adjust it from there. And uh, yeah, we'll see how she runs. Stay tuned. Guys, so it's finally cleaned out. Looks really good. It's all dry. Now let's start putting all back together. All right guys, so here I got the KTM put back all together. Got the carburetor. Still at factory settings, so I cleaned the petcock. I took it all apart, blew it all out because I noticed gas was still leaking. Changed the fuel line right there, so I cleaned out that float, that slide, blew it all out. I made sure that the oil is priming. I cleaned the air filter, put it all together, tightened all the bolts and everything. So this will be my first kick, so let's give it a shot. All right. Do this. Turn the gas on. Right. Let's do this. Look at that. Works so quiet. So this is the adjustment screw for the idle. See, went out too far. But should start. So since I put a piston in there, I need to break it in. But who wants to break it in? Let this 190 pound guy get on this thing and drive it. Think he's gonna pull me? Check it out guys, let's do it. Who needs a 250? Man, this is it right here. No gears, no nothing. This is a Cadillac. All right, another good one. Sounds good. Might need a little upgraded exhaust on there. Maybe take this cap off or something. I don't know. But it's a good one. Need to polish it up, clean up the plastics, sand all this down buff it all out clean it it's gonna look good be some happy campers right here you gonna drive it hey okay, there you go all right guys I hope you guys enjoyed this this is a fun little rebuild the project hope you guys subscribe to my channel pass it on tell other people peace